question is being posed right now. Is this what a Formula One race car driver feels like? Good afternoon from the Bingham house. We have a little girl that is finally acting more like herself. She has been so sad, so sick, just sleeping all yesterday and all this morning. And just barely, 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 she woke up from her nap and she is smiling and making jokes. And she's definitely not out of the woods. This little girl is sick, but it makes me so happy to see her acting a little bit more like herself and not feeling so sad. Hello, there she is. She's so, so sweet, even when she's sad, huh? But you know she's feeling better when she starts being silly. <laughs> <laughs> she's eating some toast and she's having some emergency with some vitamin C in it. <laughs> she even felt good enough to get her hair braided. Can we see her pretty hair? I told her thanks for letting me be your hairdo every single day. Yeah. What's a hairdo? A hairdo? Doing your hair. Yeah. She said to me the other day, Mom, I dream all the time about being a hairdo. You're the hair, like you're the hairdresser, you do people's hair in your dream. So when you grow up, do you think you're gonna be a hairdo? I think so too. You're gonna be an amazing hairdo because you have so much practice from doing my hair every day, all day. Girls just got it. She's got the look, she's got the styles. I have to say that one good thing that's come from this little girl being sick is that we get to snuggle a lot more, don't you think? You know what else is cool? What? Is that today we accidentally are twinning. She has a pink shirt and I have a pink shirt and she has black leggings and I have black leggings. Twinning. Lando's over here being awesome, doing his after school stretches all by himself, counting really quiet in his head because mom has a headache. <laughs> she knocked over it, you guys. I know. For the past couple days, I've been fighting a headache and I've been going to bed early and drinking tons of water and doing everything I can to prevent it, but feeling a little worse this afternoon. I hope I'm not the next one to drop. Okay, I am in the kitchen, cleaning up the kitchen, getting dinner ready. And Landon's helping me not only unload the dishwasher and wipe the counters, but we're playing song quiz. It's one of his favorite things to do and he's the master at it. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but Landon is like a walking... He's a walking jukebox. Yes, he knows the song title to every single Everything. song that exists. But no, he remembers <sighs> random details too. Like, why don't you ask him, because I don't know the names of our cars. Remember who bought our cars? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he remembers who we bought our cars from four cars ago. Lano, who did I buy my white Jeep from? Andrew. Okay, who did I buy the black Jeep from? Wade. And who did I buy the truck from? Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> this so is like years played? ago. This is like seven years ago. I remember the last time Turin played song quiz with Landon, he was getting so mad because <laughs> Landon knows every single song. He was like, this isn't even fun, it's not even a competition. Landon will hear the song for half of a second and he'll interrupt the song to give the answer, like this quick. And I listen the whole way through and I'm going, okay, hold on, I gotta get to the chorus, I gotta get to the chorus, they cut it off and I don't even know. It is so funny to watch him play. The boy has got a memory. If you ever want something to never ever be forgotten, tell Landon. In fact, every time he meets somebody, he asks them 20 questions, including when their birth date is, where they're from, how old they are, and the next time he sees them, he's like, so you're 11 turning 12 on July 2nd, right? It's so funny. Something I love about him. Boy of my life, by One Direction. Bling bling. You got the title and artist for 20 points plus an extra 10 bonus points. All right, for dinner tonight, we are doing pineapple and bacon. Oh. Chicken sausages. Chicken sausages. They're from Costco, they have tons of different kinds. I haven't tried a kind I don't like. Justin threw them on the Traeger. It's our favorite way to do any kind of meat. Super, super easy. I threw together Caesar salad with whatever ingredients I could find from the pantry. And then I did one of my tried and true quinoa recipes. I just put quinoa into the rice cooker in, with chicken broth. Instead of water, you do chicken broth or add chicken bouillon cubes to your water. And then I saute whatever vegetables I have in the fridge in olive oil and garlic. So tonight it was just peppers and carrots. I was a little short. <laughs> I see you. I was a little short on the vegetables tonight, but I just threw in whatever I had left and then you mix in those sauteed vegetables once the quinoa's done cooking, add salt and pepper and voila, it's yummy, right? Delicious. Yeah, the kids love it. So, that's dinner tonight. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 
So Turin, you guys have seen that we do date nights, right? We rode to, <laughs> Lindsay's behind the camera making fun of me right now, everyone. Stop it, you always say I'm making fun of you, I'm no, just no, making no, faces no. at you. Same thing, same thing, it's the same thing. We rotate through having date nights with the kids, and we've taken you guys on a couple of those. And Turin has been begging to go to this place called The Grid. We're gonna head over there this evening, and Turin and I are gonna rip up this racetrack, and uh... Let's rip it up! Yeah. Okay, here we go. Questions being posed right now. Is this what a Formula One race car driver feels like? Waiting for a game. Waiting for a race, I mean. <laughs> Monsters. Hmm? I don't know. It's probably, it's probably just, more scary. Just the, the, the heart pumping anticipation for that checkered flag. So we're waiting patiently. They uh, are a little bit uh, ahead of schedule. We were scheduled to go on at 7.45. It is now only 7.15. They said they might be ready in about five minutes. So we're just gonna wait here patiently and we could be ready to ride momentarily. Give us a little uh, race breakdown here. So Turin's car kept giving out. Yeah, every, every time I'd like, I'd push on the gas, and my dad was right behind me, and then the whole car would just, the whole car would just stop, and my dad would just hit, hit me and hit in the back of me. But that was some pretty intense go kart racing. I think we're gonna bring mom over here. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know if mom would like it. Do you think she would? Maybe. If she. If, she would definitely be the person uh, waving to have other people pass her by, that is for sure. I was impressed though, you were hauling. There, was a, there were a couple of times there when I was behind you and I was legitimately just trying to pass you and I couldn't pass you. I'm for real. In fact, the footage of it just made me feel like I was an actual race car driver because we were going so fast and I was on your tail and every move you did, I would try to follow. It was actually pretty cool. I'm probably my favorite part about the track is there's this one turn where you go like this and then you turn, it's like a full turn. Like a total U-turn. And, and you think it's just one turn after, in the, on the first lap, you, everyone hits the wall on the first lap because you don't see. And it's like super hard to turn on it. So it's super fun because you have to turn super hard and you like slide. It's cool. I jacked a wall on my second lap. My favorite part was going down that big hill. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That makes your stomach drop a little bit. Found it, brother. Love you. Love you. Good day night. Oh yeah. 
great day tonight. Okay, let's go home. Here we go. We are, I feel like, days away from ridding sickness from our home, with the exception of the fact that both Lindsay and Landon still could be at risk. So, fingers. Last one standing. Last one standing. Uh, it's the strongest ones are standing, and I'm being honest. <laughs> but you know what's weird is usually he doesn't get sick, and I, I never always get sick. get sick. Like I feel like I think about getting sick, and I get yeah. sick. I've had a really good winter so far. It's been good. I can tell that Ashton is not 100% better. He put himself to bed tonight, and I I can't think of a time in his entire life he's done that. No. Ava's sleeping. She's definitely more back to herself. And I'm just flooding the kids with all sorts of immunity builders. So we're good. <laughs> it's going to be good. These race cars were intense tonight. In fact, her and I were debating whether you we feel like you could even handle them or not. I wondered if they were really fast. I was a little nervous that one time you wanted to go. I mean, they seem fast, but they're not really that. You can only make like 35 miles an hour. That's fast. In a go-kart race car? What is it? A go-kart? It's a go-kart, yeah. Yeah, in a go-kart. That's We really were like fast. Formula One racers. Were there other people on the racetrack? No, it's just him and I. Ooh, that's even more fun, I think. It was a ton of fun. It honestly felt like we were legit race car drivers because just breathing through a helmet, just my my nose on his tail, I can just see you. around the corners, <laughs> you could just see the rocks just just rumbling on the ground as you as you go by. It was intense. I'm really excited because tomorrow, the double shot is arriving. Boom. Can't decide if we should have milk in them tomorrow or on Sunday when we have the birthday party. Probably which, Sunday. by the way, we may have to combine turn and the twins because the month of February February is nuts and sometimes getting that many people together with extended family is crazy and we've had to already cancel it and postpone it for sickness so if everyone here is better we might just celebrate the three boys so come back tomorrow Ashton and Landon are going to play their first basketball game together Ashton is feeling better enough that he's gonna be out there on the basketball court as long as Landon doesn't drop like a fly before then they'll be playing together tomorrow night, which I'm really excited about. Especially after last week being such a surprisingly heartwarming, amazing experience, I'm just really excited to go back again. So guys, if you have not yet, and this is your first time visiting us, thank you and welcome to our channel. Subscribe down below, and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. See ya.